So I'm wondering what happens if we take this blade and mount it perpendicular to that blade. Would it double the power or would the weight just destroy the plane? Let's find out. I think what we'll do is, um... How in the world are we going to mount that? We'll probably just do something like that. The hard part about this is getting it perpendicular. I mean, it'll work even if it's no matter which direction, but it looks way better if it's perpendicular. So, you know, we'll see. You can always remove it later. We're going to use paper clips to support the prop. Yeah, that should give us some extra strength. So we have a bunch of hot glue going around it and a piece of a paper clip hot glued down on there. And there is noticeable wobble, so I don't know how that's going to affect it. Probably a lot of vortex sounds and stuff, but for the most part, I think it'll be okay. Let's go try to fly this. Go ahead and see if what happens when you... Okay, we can stop now. I think that'll do it. Okay, let's see. This is a test number one here. Whoa, it actually flies. Whoa, you're trying to kill me, buddy? Exactly. Ouch. Well, let's go check it. So, not any faster. Okay. But it's a bit easier to climb. I was having All right. with I have been Probably cuz it's now grabbing more air with that extra propeller. Yeah, and with the extra weight I've been having trouble before climbing. I would have to slowly okay. climb, but it's, it seems easier now. Okay. Although I am on a full battery now. But, That's good. So, let's try. I, I, I sound your it seems like your airframe's vibrating or something like that. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it definitely climbs better. I think it actually is a tad bit faster now that I'm looking at these second flights. I think it is a bit faster. Alright, and our host here is going to take a try. I can't, I, that was full right. Really? I think one of your control points is this. Whoa, okay. Ah, trying to kill me. I couldn't pull, I didn't have enough speed to, to push down. I was just stuck in high office. I just didn't know what you were doing. Um. Can you turn? Oh yeah, you turned just fine. Exposure on the camera's messed up here. So one of the bro props broke off. Give me a little throttle. Oh my. <laughs> Oh man, that's, let's try, you want to try flying this? Sure. Okay. I can launch it if you want. Okay, yeah, yeah, sure, since you're probably better at that. Yeah, it won't do it. It's, the motor's only rev. It won't give any throttle? Well, it cuts off. Really? Battery? I don't see battery, right? No. I mean, I can try changing the battery, but I think it's probably automatic. It's detecting that? I guess. Alright, so now that the other prop broke off, we're just doing the normal prop now to see what the differences are. Is it? I think it actually flies better. Yeah. Not surprisingly. Yeah. Wait, seriously? I have, I've got more of it. Yeah, oh. Those props are just thin. Yeah, they're just thin. I've got, I've got another one upstairs you can use, though. Okay. Alright. That was fun. Yeah. Try one. All right, so now we're gonna fly with one prop. Oh, oh my gosh, it actually flies! <laughs> I can't believe that worked. <laughs> that's probably ruining your shaft, but that's insane. <laughs> How much throttle was that? Full. Okay. So obviously underpowered because used to double that, but still. All right, so moral of the story: um, don't do that unless you have them perfectly aligned so that there's no vibration at all. Otherwise, you're just hurting the prop shaft. Doesn't fly too good with one blade. For the most part, I think it was a success successful experiment for our first try. I might revisit it again, but for the most part, I'd call it a success. I'm Josiah. Thanks for watching. Ow! Hi, Tim. Glue gun.